Okay, we have a RV outlet out here and it has the universal cover on it. And uh, their trailer takes this kind of an outlet instead of this 30 amp outlet. So we're going to put a regular outlet in here in its place. And we'll have to change that circuit breaker from a 30 down to a 20. And the uh, rubber gasket stayed on here. And we have the breaker off downstairs. So we can just pull this out. And we will unhook our wires back here. We had the brass screw here where the black wire was, like on your regular 120 volt outlet. We have a green screw where the ground was. And we have a silver one where the white goes. And this is what the uh, 30 amp 120 volt outlet looks like. Now when you drop to a lower outlet like this, we do have to change the breaker to a 20 amp rather than a 30. So we'll straighten our ground wire out here. And we'll strip our wires longer. So like normal, we put the green wire, the bare wire on the green screw, and the white on the silver screw. And the silver screw is all is most generally on the same side as the green screw. There is a brand of outlets where the uh, green screw is on both sides, and that's the Harvey Hubble ones. So we'll hook our black wire up first. We'll make a loop here. We can use this little hole here. Make a loop. Thread around that brass screw. And we'll use these the plier part of my uh, strippers here to close that loop down. And there it is. We'll turn it over. We'll do the same with the white wire. We'll make a loop with this hole here, the direction that the screw turns, of course. Now this is number 10 wire, so it's going to be a little bit harder to put around the screw. I'm going to close that loop a little bit more so that it goes around, hugs the screw a little bit better. So I'm going to loosen that terminal up, get under here with my pliers, and I close that loop a little bit better there. around the screw the way it should be. 
Now we'll get our ground wire. So we're gonna put it up here. We can make our loop again with this hole. Go around the screw. Let me screw up just a little bit more. There, I got the wire up under the head of the screw. I'll close the loop down nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to pull this ground wire back so it's under the head all the way around the screw. fold this into the box. I'm going to push the ground wire down into the back and across this way. And I'll fold the white down, the black down like this. And I'll fold them up in the back. And I'll bring the camera down. I'll let you take a look at the connections there so you can see how it's done. There's the black wire. You can uh, use a heavier wire on a, but you can't, you go down. So if you're using 15 amps, you can use 14, 12, or 10. But if you're doing 20 amps, you can use number 12 or number 10. If you're running 30 amps, you have to have number 10. You can never go down on your size of wire with a bigger breaker. Okay, I'll make sure that little gasket stays in place there. See the little holes here with the wider part to put it in and slide it over. Just goes on like that and it just goes crisscross like that. Now the thing I don't have is the uh, regular outlet piece that goes behind this. So I'll have to get that and put that on off camera when I get it. I just have it at the, at the house. So uh, I'll just have to take this cover off and slide that piece behind it. They also come with a part that can be for a light switch or it can be for uh, a different type of an outlet. Peace. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is the uh, 30 amp 120 volt outlet that we took out.